Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, I think I would just like to share with you a very surprising thing which happened uh, when I arrived here in Brazil for the Rio Plus 20. But to me, as a woman, uh, I'm calling it a Rio Minus 20 because I, I don't really see the importance of this Rio. We have so many conferences which are being held, talking about women, empowerment of women, but we don't see any implementation of these agreements. So, yes, I am from Zimbabwe. I live in the rural areas in the central part of Zimbabwe, in Mashingo province. My organization is a member of Vaikambasina uh, International and here today I'm representing Vaikambasina International. So I had a small dream uh, on the 17th. Imagine I'm now 56 years old and my last born is almost 30 years but I had this dream and uh, I was struggling to give birth I was in labor and I had these pains. You can just imagine. It was so painful. So when I woke up in the morning, I just shared this with my colleague because I was feeling some pains. Those labor, really, really labor pains. So I was thinking, okay, what does this mean? to a woman of my age. And the answer which I just had in my mind, which came out from my mind was, if we look at the situation, the crisis we are facing as women at this moment, land is being grabbed. But we know we are the people who have that responsibility of producing food to put on the table every day for every person. Even those corporates whom we are fighting with, they also need food. Our governments, they cannot go for work before they eat. Let's talk about the seeds. They are introducing the GMO seeds. But we know we have our own seeds, our indigenous seeds. We also know our traditional way of producing conserving our own seeds but we are being denied the right to use our own indigenous seeds to manage our own natural resources yet we really are aware that our traditional leaders had some laws which were put in place to manage our natural resources and we could not tamper with those laws we really respected them, but now we are being forced to follow some international laws brought by the corporates, the transnational corporations, the multinational corporations, the Monsantos, all those big guys. So with Vaya Kambasina, as Vaya Kambasina, we are really campaigning especially on the violence against women. We are also campaigning against these transnational corporations. And also, what we are really doing as Vaikambasina, we are trying to introduce some trainings on agroecology, farming practices. For example, we had a training on agroecology in Zimbabwe where 52 participants from Vaikambasina International gathered at my own place, at my home area because we are really into organic farming so we have those concept of uh, <coughs> knowledge of how we can go about with agroecology and especially for food sovereignty we have a lot of campaigns in most of our countries where Vaikambasina is so what I would just want us to think about is that 
with these crises, with these transnational corporations, and our governments, some of our governments, are really greedy of money. Who is going to benefit from this green economy? To us as women, it's an assault, a threat. Talking of the climate smart agriculture, what does that it mean to, to, to a woman, to a rural poor, to a farmer? I think this is another mode of uh, introducing slavery with no future, with no direction. So I think women, we should not just sit and stand and say, okay, let it go. But we should really try to fight together for this thing to come to an end. With these few words, I want to thank you all.